I know that. Um, so he shrieks in agony and pain. And Beyond your stunt, you can't yep. do anything. Suko, your turn. She's also okay, no longer uh, regening. That turn. Yeah, for this round. Okay, is anybody in uh, physical combat with her? No. Not yet. Okay. I move another ten feet and then attack again. Longbow, still. You don't even need a move. Yeah, I know, really I want to get closer so I can use a fire spell on her. While attacking her along the way. That's thirty. That's a fit range of fifteen, right? And you can move thirty. Yeah, so thirty. Yeah, no, you wouldn't be able to hit with that. Okay, so yeah, you move ten feet and shoot, roll. Okay. That would be a fifteen. You do not hit. Damn. Magnus, your turn. Uh, I'm just gonna reload my crossbow this round. Freaking full okay. round of actions. So, what else do you do next? Trying to get this as accurate as possible to her nature. I wouldn't say she would run, because of the fact that she probably knew she couldn't get away, especially how, considering how fast you guys are. And that we've been <laughs> pelting her with arrows and shit. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure she assumes she can't run. Um, so she fights like a cornered animal. Fight tooth and nail to the last breath. Pretty much. Let's move over here. Yes, he could. Or could he move? No, she would go for Leon since he is currently stunned. Dazed. Not her wise is actually yeah dazed. But you get Big difference. Yeah, I know it's. It just creates you, me flat foot. You're you're of. currently immobile, is what I mean. Wait, how long does um? I don't know. How long? That's your I'm damn spell. I'm looking it up. I'm talking to myself. This lasts for um. Oh wow. So the duration is one round. Okay. So, here we go. So, first thing she would do is she would take a swing with her tail. Where are you getting that alchemists can only learn a certain set of... I just sent you a link. It's in Skype chat. Go look at it. Roll the hit. I will. Give me a second. That's actually a fairly high to hit. Isn't that okay. versus your flat foot? Yep. That's flat not... Foot, yep. Kill that that not doesn't say what anything I'm about miss. them not being able to learn any other spells. What do you mean that's not what you're yeah. saying? That's not what I'm set to being able to learn. That's just where I draw for each new level. That makes no sense. It when I not... level up, I learn one new formula. But it says explicitly in the alchemist thing that he can learn spells, any spells. Okay, what's the class feature then? At What's the class feature? It's an done? extract. It's it's not a class. Yeah. It's not. It's in alchemy. It's under the alchemy thing. If you go yeah, down it's to under like alchemy the, the, in the extract section. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they don't ah. have spells. They have a formula list that determines an alchemist can utilize spell trigger items if the spell appears on a formula list, but not spell completion items. An extract is cast by drinking it, but it only affects me. I can use my level as a caster level to turn the effect of base, or to determine the effect based on caster level. It consumes raw materials. If it normally has a costly material component, it's expended during the consumption. It cannot be made from spells that have a focus requirement, but an alchemist can prepare an extract of any formula he knows, and it goes on to say that I can learn formulas from... I can learn formulas of any spell, basically. Any formula that is equivalent to a spell that the spell book contains. It has to be a formula. That is equivalent yes, to I basically take that spell and turn it into an alchemist formula. Only if it already has an alchemist formula attached to it. If it does not, you cannot learn it for as a formula. Is what it is No, saying. because they're not writing it as a formula in that spell book. Read. They're writing it as a word would cast it. And I'm quote, reading it. Yeah, an alchemist can... 
to learn any formula that is equivalent. That means it must already exist. I'm not talking about spells that don't exist. I'm talking about normal spells. But the formula must exist. Let's discuss this after combat is over. Basically, what I'm saying is that you can't write it down as a kind of potion, then you can't really write it down there. By the way, it's um, Leon, it's, it's Dr. Cedric's turn. Okay. Where is she now? Oh, she's too close. Um. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna try for. Wait, I need to take off for bomb. You throw a bomb, you're gonna hit me. I'm gonna at least take splash from it. Well, no, not maybe right not. here. Or if I throw it in the middle there, you won't take splash. I'm it's... gonna throw it at the midpoint here. So oh, it affects these four squares. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, you hit. Full damage. Well, well it'll just splash. Uh, oh, right, it's splash. So, how much damage is that? Like, eight? Yeah, it's splash. It's eight. Yeah. Okay, Leon, your turn. And hey, at least you can't reach him this time. Yeah. You hit. Roll damage. Eight. Suko, your turn. Jesus, how is she still Roll alive? Hit. Okay, move forward again, and, and, I tr and I'll try a header with my bow again. Unless I can get within in range to get, without having to do a double move action to use the 15 foot thing. Um. Is Leon in combat? Yes. With her? Yeah. She's you can, but Leon's there. How, seriously, how is she still alive? She's taking 38 points of damage already. Oh, she did Well, she regens some. Oh, and she has no fire. He hasn't been fire, fire. at all. She regened once. I've hit her with fire no. every round. Yeah. Uh, no, the first round. Oh god. I Look, I've been keeping track of it. Too. I've been keeping track of it. Just deal with it. Better die in this next time. It's like the only. Assuming he hits. I didn't say it had to be this hit. Okay. Hey, back to my original question. And how far away am I from her? You are 25 feet. Okay, move 10 and feet, and I move so I won't hit Ed Leon in the 15 foot. There cone. is no way not to hit Leon. Yeah, there is. Okay, what's way? 20. Uh, that's, actually, that's two. Comes down here. And stuff that would still hit there. you. No, because the cone originates from... Oh, okay, there you go, there you go. Okay, okay so okay, it's so Arcane it's... Bond and Fire Breath. Don't you mean, don't you mean Burning Hands? No, Fire Breath is also a 15-foot cone. Uh, no, I meant like, oh, uh, never mind, then what does it do different? It does higher damage, I just didn't have any prepared so I could heal myself with Make Whole. Okay. Okay, roll, uh, roll damage then. Uh, let's see. Ten, twenty-two. Roll reflex. Does reflex? I don't think matter? it matters anymore. If so she takes a lot of damage, life. she dies. <laughs> she, she burns life. She dies to a breath of fire. Now I have a question: Are her spell-like abilities are they considered spells? Or what? Uh, there are spell-like abilities. It it doesn't even matter because she's dead. Well, it does actually for something that I'm going to try. Well, what are you going to try? You can't just tell us what you're going. Well, just I just tell me got a new. I, okay, I'm trying to. I just got a new um extract that I can prepare. Hang on, let me pull it up here. Gotta get it from my. And extra uh, spell-like abilities are like magical things, but at the same time, they're like, like for example, a spell-like ability, hypnotism. That's something you can do with their eyes, not with magical ability, basically. Oh, okay. 
let me let me look at what this is. Uh, while he's looking, what's the XP? Uh huh. You level. Let's see, four people. Um, Keep it's a thousand how... XP divided by three hundred XP, basically for each. Three hundred each. Mm -hmm. How much is it? Wait, how much each. is she worth? A thousand two hundred. Okay, yeah, three hundred each. Well, I, it's the extract called blood transcription, and if I consume one pint of blood from a spellcaster killed within the last twenty-four hours, I can attempt to learn a spell they knew. I select one spell from available to them. Yes, that's also and then considered gain, an evil action. No, it isn't. No, it's I not. gain the really? knowledge of this spell for twenty-four hours, and during this time, I can write it down using the normal rules for copying a spell from another source. Once I've learned it, uh, I can prepare it normally. There's only one problem with that, is that it's not a um, spell. It's a spell-like ability. Yeah, it's an evil like action. I treated as spells for purposes of, like, abilities like that. What did you say? I can't hear you over what Remy just said. What? Yeah, actually, it is, yeah. Huh? I can't hear him. What did he say? What did Remy say? It is evil. No, what did, what did, um, what did, uh, Cedric say? I had thought that spell-like abilities were treated as spells for purposes of learning from them and stuff like that, but I guess not. No, they're not. Okay. And like, besides, hypnotism that's... would be like, like, hypnotism would be like what a snake could do in their eyes. That'd be a spell-like ability, but it's not actually a spell. I'm also not sure about it being an evil action. It's not an yeah. evil action, don't ask. It's not an evil yes, action. Yes, it is. How? Descriptor, evil. Yeah, it, it's, Where? um... It's divination it's evil. the descriptor for the spell. It's from the evil divination, but I'm not doing it in an evil, evil, evil manner. That's not the point, actually, though. Well, school definition. It's, it's, it's like dark side force powers. Even though you're using them for a good purpose, that doesn't mean you're not turning more evil by doing so. I, I mean, if you're really just believing that morality in these things are set in stone like this, sure. Fine. Well, it's not. Uh, wow, now I see how much I of a jackass I was being. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, but uh, just go ahead and do whatever you need to do. Uh, whatever. Like Anyways, he wasn't um, like. I'll talk to you later. Whatever. I loot the body. Um. Or what's left burn. of it? Yeah, what's left of it? On our body, you see prisoner like, rings. You see prisoners ring jailers, or uh, a ring. Sorry, it's basically jailers. Basically, I just take the ring and I get it identified by big middleman next to me. Yeah, middleman identify. Okay, I'm guessing rolling spellcraft. Don't pull an alpha and botch. Rolling spellcraft or knowledge arcana, I'm asking. Spellcraft. Okay. Don't pull an alpha and botch. One. Then botch. What'd, What'd you, you get? get? 13. Uh, I got let me go take... two. Let me, get, let me go take the jailer's ring. I didn't technically botch. You are still useless. Well, let me go check the ring first. It could actually have an effect. Um. So, yeah, you bought you you don't. You have no clue what uh, it is. You're useless, and I just like shove you out of the way. Doctor Cedric needs your assistance. Hey, he's a robot, man. You can't really. Oh, never mind. Uh, for what? What's your identifying push? My push pull yeah, you... is higher than yours. No, wait, I is meant... it a... Wait, stop for a second. Is it a discovery or is it an extract that, um, that you just used to do the blood thing? He did. Well, I didn't do it. Because you I said know, it wasn't work it, anyway. Though? Well, what is it, though? Yeah, it's, uh, it's on the formula list. It's a second level extract. It's a, it's a what level extract? It's a second level ex er, It's a second level on the formula list. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so what are you doing now? 
uh, I don't know. You guys said you needed something. We need you to oh, identify. Oh, yeah, we need you to identify. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what am I identifying? A ring? Yes. What kind oh, of. Oh, want to know why this is an evil act? Have we determined it? Well, I'm not. Let's not get into that right now. Let's not. Let's not. Okay. We can talk about it later. I don't want to disrupt the flow. So, have we determined if it's magical? We, we uh, figure it is. What did you roll? You got 20? I mean, I'm asking if they did. It. We no. assume it is. Well, yeah, okay. you assume. Well, no, you know it is because of detect magic. Well, there you I go. I didn't use detect magic. Kind of assumed. Yeah, at, th at this point, we just assume we come across a ring, it's magical. I mean, it's well, at will. I... You might as well. And yes, it's a Jailer's Ring dungeon, okay. Jailers? I don't see that variant. I'm going to keep looking, though. It's, a, it's a basically a dungeon ring, but it's Jailer's. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for where it, I guess. And we don't have a prisoner, so it is essentially useless. Wait, do we have a Do we have a prisoner? Wait, that doesn't mean she didn't. Here's a tip. Is you put the ring on, and you know where your prisoners are. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it, because I'm a badass. So I put the ring on. Wait, uh, that's... Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, what? Leon puts the ring on. Oh, okay. So... Let's see here. Um. Hold on. Actually, hold up. I'm just making sure. Mm. Compass. Okay, you can tell based off of their relative position, as by using the status spell. Um, they are relatively unharmed. They are currently unharmed for now. And also, they're in a shrine a bit further on. But I gotta stop this in here, because I gotta do my homework also, mm -hmm. so. Okay, we can do that. So, we find... Well, now that the floor... Huh, yeah. What? We figure yeah. out where they are, basically. Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. And that, uh, and Dr. Cedric, that's it can I talk to you now? Huh? Alright, what? Yeah, uh, we're done. We, will, right. we will meet uh, Saturday, right? Oh, one end? more thing, though. Uh, Magnus, roll perception. Uh, perception. Uh, do you want me to do it now, or can I oh, wait, do it no, with my modified? I'm gonna put a point in. Never mind. It was Doctor Cedric. Doctor Cedric, roll perception. Uh, okay. Okay. It's an important. Uh, okay. There. After the battle, um, you notice that the scratch you had gotten earlier is starting to form, um, it's starting to form blue spores. What scratch? You got. Wait, when the hell did I get scratched? Was it him? Yeah, you got you got oh, you yeah. got scratched by the Fey Wild Bear. Yeah, the Fey. I'm means growing a spore. Fey Wolverine. You're growing a spore in your cut. Can I get a knowledge nature to identify this, or craft yes, alchemy, you can. or anything? You can get a knowledge nature to identify. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pop another one of my identify extract and take this. Uh, what's, what's my knowledge nature? That would technically oh. also be growing on me, right? No, you're kind of immune to it. You're a, on, like you're a construct. Okay. Okay. What's well, a twenty-seven? Get I me. also got scratched. So whether or not. Okay, so a twenty-seven. <laughs> um. You figure out that this is a pulsing puff. The pulsing puff uh, spore uh, manifests into the barrier's body and continues to um, prevent natural healing on wound unless treated. It also becomes deeper rooting, damaging the character's dexterity by uh, ingraining itself into the muscle system. How to remove? And I still okay. uh, You know how to remove it via the treatment, but you need to roll a heal check. That's what. Exactly what I was going to do. Um, let me see if I can't help myself out here a little bit. 
Also, you know that it glows in time with your heartbeat. Good lord. Alright, I'm rolling to heal. Okay, ah. you managed to safely remove the spores without contracting any disease. Wait, should not you get a fortitude save first? No, because you don't get onset without... You don't take onset... Uh, whatever. It's fine. The it's idea is that you don't know... Well, here's the thing. You roll fortitude at the day it onsets because they don't know until then. Or that or I had to make a secret Doctor one and I didn't have his stat sheet in front of me, so... Well, Dr. Cedric is looking around at the other guys and asking them if they got any scratches. Nope. Or anything. I'm good. Not me. What about the... Um, what about the two in his wagon? No, they're fine. They, they never got hit. All right. Well, well I might as well use make hole, so that would be 3d6. Another day and another disease aversion. Okay. Uh, I'm going to so roll health assessment. real quick. Did I level heal? Okay, so. Oh. Okay, by the so, way, I'm back at max health now. Okay. Magnus, roll for uh, health. Do you level also? Huh? Do you level also? He's like nope. too shy. 205 away. Okay. Nice okay. roll. Yep. Now, Dr. Cedric, can I talk to you now about the uh, whole evil thing? I figured out why it was evil. Uh, I mean, if that's cool. if that's the main ah. session, then I will see you guys on Saturday when we do our next session. Yeah. Right. As will I. Um, I will see you guys later then. So